you're desperately trying to follow the health rules to preserve and promote health for yourself and your family. Now, the majority of guidelines issued by health authorities across the Western world advocate from two years of age, kids and adults should be switched from whole fat milk, which has around 3% fat, to reduced fat milk, which, depending on what you opt for, can have as little as 0.1% fat. Despite much vocal opposition, you've managed to convert the family to low-fat milk. Congratulations! Unfortunately, this may end up being a hollow victory. Over the years, numerous studies from around the globe have suggested the thin kids aren't drinking low-fat milk. They're slurping down full-fat milk every single day. But everyone knows fat is fattening, right? So what gives? Join us with this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we look at what milk should be in your refrigerator. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. A team of Canadian researchers decided to crunch the numbers and settle the issue once and for all. They trolled through the science database, looking for all the relevant journal articles. They found quite a few studies, some better than others. After reading and reading and reading, they selected 28 studies that addressed the issues that they were interested in. They wanted studies that looked at kids drinking different kinds of milk and measured how fat or thin they were. They then crunched the numbers to look for patterns. As part of their analysis, they generated this fancy looking graph, which records what happened in 14,582 kids from seven different countries. Each circle represents a group of kids consuming a particular milk type. The size of the circle is in proportion to the number of kids. Big circles are the data from lots of kids and pinpricks are the data from a small number of kids. Big circles are better than small circles. Now, what is glaringly obvious from these results is that the kids drinking full cream milk were not on the tubby side at all. In fact, they tended to be thinner. So the full fat kids are not the fat kids. The fattest kids were those not drinking any milk or going with an extremely low fat version. Those consuming the reduced fat milk were somewhere in between. Overall, our team concluded whole milk did not adversely affect body weight and was actually associated with lower odds of being overweight and obese. Really? So why are parents being told to switch to reduced fat milk to avoid childhood obesity? Well, low fat milk definitely has fewer calories. So on paper at least, Reduced fat milk in place of full fat milk should translate to fewer calories being consumed. And logic says weight is all about balancing the calories in with the calories out. So if you're consuming more calories, well, it should be tipping the scales towards weight gain. But this is not supported by what actually happens in real life. Unfortunately, the human body does not act the same way as a bomb calorimeter, thanks to the presence of hormones. Clearly, there is more to the milk story than calories. Exactly what it is is still a bit of a mystery. Various ideas have been mooted. Maybe the kids who drink full cream milk don't drink as much sugar-laden beverages, that is, more milk means less fruit juice and or soda. Maybe consuming more fat in their diet leads them to feel fuller, so they eat less other stuff. Maybe there are special nutrients in full cream milk that boosts metabolism. Maybe it's a little of all of them. Whatever it is, 
full cream milk is not the cause of childhood obesity. In the last 40 years, the consumption of full fat milk has decreased substantially, while the levels of childhood obesity have rocketed. So loading your refrigerator with reduced fat milk is probably not the solution. So what is? Well, obesity is a sign of bad body chemistry. This can be caused by a number of different factors, many of which can be mitigated by lifestyle. Download the Willpower Report. It's free to discover 10 steps and strategies you can use to help your little one create better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is buying reduced fat milk. Share this video with them so that they understand that this practice is not protecting their family from weight issues. In fact, it might be doing just the opposite. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.